Hi everyone, my name is Greta Luski. I'm a freelance illustrator and comic book artist and in this video I'm gonna teach you how to draw a mermaid. This tutorial is sponsored by the MSI Creator Seed 16B. Let's start by laying down all the basic shapes for our mermaid. Draw a circle and an horizontal line slightly curved in the middle. Starting at the right end of the line, add a rounded triangle, almost like a lower half of a heart. This will be our guide for the nose and the jaw. Between the center line and the triangle, draw a C shape for the ear. Now draw two parallel lines that will represent the neck. From the neck, draw a long curved line that will be our line of action. This line will help us to figure out the pose of the mermaid and it will also be a guide for the main shapes of the body. Following the line of action, draw a rounded triangle for the chest and a bigger, a bit longer inverted triangle for the first half of the tail. Make sure to make them overlap a little bit. For the end of the tail, we are going to have a mirror J connected to the second triangle. You can make this part in whatever shape you want, really, as long as it ends in a point. For the fins, we are going to draw two big pointed ellipses. Think of this shape as a leaf. Since our mermaid is underwater, let's use more wavy lines to create a large, flowy shape for the hair. Now let's construct the arm. At the top of the triangle for the body, draw a circle. Then draw a cylinder to shape the arm. Have another circle for the elbow. Two more lines slightly converging to a smaller circle. And lastly, add a rounded triangle to represent the hand. Now it's time to connect the shapes we created to start visualizing our mermaid. With the help of the guides underneath, I'm outlining the important parts and adding as much details as I want. Define shapes by adding a triangle for the eye and a curved line for the mouth. I always like to make my mermaids a little bit grumpy, but you can explore any expressions you want. Add a jagged line for the hairline and more wavy lines to add volume to the hair. Notice how these lines don't have to be perfect and even though I'm outlining the base shapes in some areas, in some other areas, you don't need to strictly follow them. By adding curved lines to the fins, we create more volume and a sense of direction. I'm adding some more triangles to form a starfish on her chest and defining the shape of the arm a little bit more. Draw crisscrossing lines to create a net pattern on the tail. This is a little trick I like to use to draw scales very, very easily. Feel free to keep adding elements until you like what you see. Once we have all the elements laid down, we can move into cleaning our sketch. At this point, I like to lower the opacity of my sketch layer and create a new layer to start defining the whole drawing with cleaner lines. If you are using traditional mediums, you can grab a pen or a brush and outline your mermaid with some black ink or maybe a darker pencil. Line art doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, my line art is always a little bit messy, but I think it adds character to it. You can also do some scratching with tiny, tiny lines to have shadows at some parts. I always start inking my drawings with thin lines and I add some line weight where it's needed to have more depth. Inside the squares of our net pattern, we will be using small curved lines to outline the scales of the mermaid's tail. It's not necessary to outline every single scale, but you can definitely do it if you have the patience. I personally like to ink just some areas creating like tiny groups of scales. You can have some bubbles around her to indicate she's underwater and that's it! That's one way of drawing a mermaid. Now, if you want, you can add some color to it. Coloring is probably my favorite part of the process. I usually start selecting and painting the areas with the lasso tool and laying down all the base colors. Then I use the gradient tool and layers set to multiply mode to paint the shadows and adding highlights as well. Feel free to experiment and play around, there's absolutely no wrong way to do this as long as you're having fun. Thank you so so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully learned something new. I really look forward to seeing all you beautiful mermaids on DeviantArt.